PopCap Games, the game developing organization that somehow fell off over the past 10 years. PopCap Games is responsible for the games such as Plants vs. Zombies, Bejeweled, Bookworm Adventures. There's one game I want to talk about in particular, and I don't do commentary videos at all, but I, I feel like this has to be said, and that's Peggle Deluxe. This game gives you a different type of depression. Every man will cry when they play this game. I used to play this all the time as a kid, and basically the point of the game is to hit all the orange pegs on a set level with a pinball. And uh, basically you win after, and it hits you with this Mozart Concierto, and it says Frenzy on your screen like you just won the lottery, kind of like this. However, you think you're gonna get this every single level. You're gonna you're gonna hit the frenzy, hit the jackpot every single level. It depends on how good you are. But for me, I thought I thought this was gonna happen. Playing years later after my childhood and having fun with it. Now I just wanna cry. Because not only is it difficult, but I'm also stupid. So I just hit the worst shots, as shown in my clips. End me. And now I want to die. <laughs> These clips are the equivalent to not having any toilet paper or stubbing your toe on like sheet metal in the middle of the night and trying not to scream. Oddly specific, but it's true. And I have a bunch of other clips that contribute to my 13 reasons why, but there's one among them that actually makes me a little bit happy. And it's under the label, Ah Yes. I'm not saying this game is bad, but I'm just saying there's some problems, such as when you start, there's this cracked out unicorn that introduces himself and shows you around the game. And usually you get powers depending on the character that you play, you're playing for. And some of them are just downright useless, such as the most powerful character in the game, which is the unicorn. He gives you aim assist. So like when you aim your ball at a peg, and you want to like hit it it'll show you where its track is gonna go so when you hit it it shows you the direction that it'll go after and honestly that's useless because then you're just blue peg hitting blue peg i know what's gonna happen like i didn't already know i didn't need the exact coordinates of what i was gonna hit i just i'm hitting the orange peg and i'm gone and then there's this little thing at the bottom that gives you a free ball every time your pinball falls into the abyss. And it's great, it's great. It helps you in a lot of situations if you can hit it. Literally, you don't aim just for that. You have to aim for the orange peg, so you're not really paying attention until it hits the bottom and you're like, oh, I need to hit that. But it's all the way up the other side of the screen. And you're just like, oh, great, I'm out of balls. Okay, no, don't demonetize me, please. I'm out of pinballs. This is going to be the raw, uncut version. I'm not going to edit anything except my clips in, and that's about it because I'm tired. But, you know, it, it, it's also a great game, and if you think about it, like, look at the aspect. There's four different modes you can choose from, like adventure, duel, quick play, and challenge. And there's, like, 75 challenges, and, like, the story mode has 15 characters with, like, five levels each. Except you can get stuck on one level for, like, ten minutes each because you're just bad at the game. Because you're just terrible. And you don't know how to aim. It's great. I, I feel like a 12-year-old in a Call of Duty lobby. I just can't aim at anything, and then I talk trash thinking I'm the best. It's, it's horrible. 
but try this game out for yourself. I, I got it for only five bucks, and, 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 and honestly, it was kind of fun to play again, despite all the bad things, and um, this was a very short commentary video. I hope you liked it, but yeah, that's all I really want to talk about and how much I want to cry based off this video, so um, thank you. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye.